Hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Um, tornado, the tornado mod has still not been updated to 1.6.2, um, so I'm going to wait probably until that's updated, or at least I'm going to give it another week, because uh, I am moving into college Friday. So after the weekend, when I kind of get settled in and the classes start up on Tuesday, um, if it is not updated and doesn't look like any of his mods have been updated, then I'm just going to go ahead and start another season. But otherwise, I'm spending my free time here working on my Minecraft server. This video is to explain a little bit about the server because I want to start getting you guys familiar with what the server is for those of you that are interested in joining when it is open to the public. Speaking of which, I may have, if I selected you, I'm going to read through again and send out some more messages after this video gets uploaded. But I've been going through the comments, so I've read every single one. If I did want you to try it on the server, I have sent you a private message on YouTube. So I haven't heard back from a lot of people. So please check your inbox. And if I haven't heard back from you, then I'm going to try and find somebody else to take your spot. Uh, so check your inbox on YouTube and respond back to the message. I'm going to send out a big group message with all the people that contacted me. And I'm going to give you further information um, about the server. Okay, so this is Avius. When you join Avius, you are going to get 16 bread, and you are going to get this, the Adventurer's Epitome. Um, yes, Rules of the Land. It is going to be your guidebook. This is what you're going to want to keep with you until you really know the server. This is going to have the rules of the server. This is going to have an explanation of how things work. This is just going to have a whole bunch of information about Avius. This other book is mine. I, I've been using it to make signs and do ranks and stuff like that. So you won't get that book. You'll just get these two things. And the first thing um, I'm going to recommend doing is here. I'm going to hop off really fast. Yes, I hit it. Haha. <laughs> That's whitelisted anyways. But you're going to see this little stuff down here in the corner. Um, you're not going to see the MC MMO. We are using this plugin, but you're not going to see that, but you're going to see everything else as if it was you. The first thing that pops up is the server. We use a custom resource pack. It's Conquest. Um, you can click this link, or at any time, you can type in slash RP for resource pack, and it's going to give you the link. Click that. It'll open your browser and automatically start downloading. All it's going to, it's, excuse me, it's going to go in your downloads folder. All you have to do is drag it into your resource packs folder. Um, I'll make a video at some point probably explaining just that. But the first thing I recommend doing is getting that resource packed. Conquest is awesome. Um, it's based off of John Smith and it is constantly being updated and it gets updated automatically I believe it's what we build the server using so it's when we make things look a certain way it's because it looks good in this texture pack and then secondly it has really awesome music that fits really well with a the theme that you probably have heard before it's from another game apparently someone in the comments told me I thought he made it but if it's from another game then it's it's still awesome and I recommend getting that because it makes the atmosphere of the server a lot better so this is the main spawn building this is where you are going to spawn when you first join the server and if you die, this is also where you're going to go for the moment. Okay. Let's see. When you first get on here, you notice you have your bread. You should probably read through the book, especially at the beginning. But when you join, I want to explain a couple things. You are going to be a colonist. A colonist can, can't can do anything. You can eat your bread, you can read your book, and you can use the command signs in the server building. You can't do anything else on the server. You have no other privileges or rights. You are simply a colonist. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to pick a rank that you want to be. Every player will start with 16 bread in a rule book. At any time, if you lose your book, if you die, you can type slash guide and you'll get your book again when you need it. And then the kits I'm going to go over in a minute. These can be used hourly. Okay. So there's, see these three sections here? This is information on the class. You are going to use this spawn building to level up to a class. Now, you can walk around the server, talk to people go check out spawn but if you're going to leave spawn make sure you rank up first because you won't be able to do anything you have to rank up first we have three ranks we have the minor rank we have the logger rank and we have the gardener rank I believe those are the names official names of the three so the first rank is minor you are valuable. Most buildings and supplies and resources to advanced or more of the advanced stuff is going to come from you. Diamonds, iron, cobblestone. You will be military advanced a little bit earlier than the other enemies because you don't have to trade to get your weapons and armor. 
your kit, what you start with when you become miner, you can use slash kit, and this kit's going to give you it's going to give you a set amount of things depending on your rank. You can use this, we've set now every hourly, but that is pending to change. You are going to get one wooden pickaxe. You only start with one wooden pickaxe. If I were to right click this sign, right here, this sign with the SCS on it, I would become a miner. The mining class has dark gray ranks, and there is four in that. So miners, you can only use a wooden pickaxe I'll explain the class system a bit. Um, oh, my computer's freaking out. I'm going to explain the classes and what each does, but I'm just going to explain this, the three classes briefly. So, miners, you are the miner. You can only your only tool you can use is a pickaxe, and you're going to be the only person that can mine resources in cobblestone and mine minerals and stuff, such stuff like that. So, you're going to be your main resource. You're going to be trading is cobblestone, coal, stuff like that. Okay, in addition to the specific tool each kit comes with, you will get a wooden sword. So everybody has access to fighting, and you're going to get a wooden sword when you type in slash kit. You'll also get your wooden sword on top of the specific one. So if you decide you don't want to be a miner, then the other option is lumberjack. Excuse me, not logger, lumberjack. Lumberjack slash, you're also a digger. You use axes and shovels. Uh, so this section needs to be changed. You will consist of, a, of one wooden axe and one wooden shovel. You are the backbone. Everybody will need wood. This job might get boring because you know you're going to be doing nothing but cutting trees or digging stuff up, but it is the most needed. You are also in charge of using the shovel as I mentioned. So you are the only person that can gather clay, sand, you're the only person that can cut trees and collect wood. So you're the wooden wooden class. Your third option is gardener. You're the supplier. Um Ah, yes, the awesome music. Let me make sure it's not too loud. Just to make sure it's not too loud. The third option is gardener, and you're going to be just in charge of farming. You're going to be in charge of breeding animals. And you're going to be in charge of supplying people with food and resources to get on. Your kit, your kit will consist of one wooden hoe. So, you click these signs and you're going to be ranked up and then you're going to go from there. And I'll explain more about each rank in a little bit longer on another separate video. But for those of you that were beta or those who want to start thinking about what class you might be interested in doing, they all have their advantages. Lumberjacks and miners are going to need food from the gardener, so they're going to want to befriend gardeners. Gardeners are going to need... Well, to defend themselves, they're going to need resources for armor. And they're also going to need um, wood to make more wooden hoes. Lumberjacks, in order to make better tools, they're going to need cobblestone. And the miners are going to need wood to make more pickaxes. So, so it's going to become a giant trading fest. You were only limited to doing certain things. And it is up to trading with other people to, um, to work your way and get yourself to be successful. I'll explain another video more about how the ranks work. Because um, eventually your goal is to conquer all three of these ranks. We use MCMMO, which is a RPG kind of skills plugin where you get your skill and you know you get points and you're trying to level up. And we're working on finishing that up, but I'll explain that a little bit more. So three classes, you can choose one of these three classes when you join. You'll get ranked up to that class. And then once you've read everything and you've gotten the Conquest Texture Pack, you are free to go into the world and do as the server would like. We have this awesome, like super awesome plugin that does snow. And one of my friend's bases, like, it is piled up. It'll pile up two or three Minecraft blocks. So it's really awesome. So this is spawn. Spawn is very simple. In order for spawn to grow, this is probably the last thing I explain about it in this video, but in spawn is like a colony. This colony wants to grow. We want to have buildings, we want people to build houses, we want all this stuff to go on in spawn. But spawn cannot do that without resources. So you're going to use your class and as you do the stuff in your class to gain more skills points, to level up, to rank up, to get to higher ranks, to do more things, to become a miner and a gardener, to be able to do everything that you can normally do in Minecraft, to rank yourself up, 
you're going to be getting gathering a lot of resources. You're going to be grinding. You're going to be mining. You'll be cutting a lot of trees, and you're going to take it to the spawn depot. And this will be explained um, in another video, probably as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'm just kind of spoiling, spitting out some information about the server to those of you that are not part of beta, and then those of you that are beta will know everything about the server um, later. And I will be sharing information on that to you guys. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was mildly entertaining. Um, once I get settled in school, Tornado Survivor will begin. And I'll probably start another Let's Play of another game. I'm bringing my 64 and GameCube. So we'll see how that goes. I'll get a schedule up going and an update video. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.